today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to play Brown Sugar by the Rolling Stones. Uh, yesterday we looked at how to play Honky Tonk Women, which was tuned, uh, it was an open G tuning, and this is exactly the same. So our bottom E string is tuned down to D, so it will sound the same as the D string. The high E is tuned down to D also, so that will sound the same. The A string is tuned down to G, so you got to make that sound the same as the G string. And that's a quick and easy way of doing an open G tuning. Really classic uh, Keith Richards riffs, uh, which typifies the Rolling Stones sound. Really bar on the 12th, I've got my thumb hooked over on the A string holding the 12th down there like that, you could do it like that, I found it was starting to hurt my fingers to do it like that, but like that, and then we have the 13th fret of B and the 14th fret of D to the 12th, and you can see that on the guitar tab, it's very similar to what you see with Brian May, very similar, then we have the 5th, in that same shape, so, and again, so really this, I've got this written down, I've got it into one sheet, and uh, there's just a number, handful of riffs, and if you can link them all together, you can play the whole song all the way through. As always, play it along with the track to get the uh, the feel of it right and the timing right. Now after you've done that, we've called that figure one, figure two. So what we've got there is we're born in the eighth and we're hammering onto the 10th fret of the G and back off again to the 5th this time when you go into the 6th of B we're born the 1st and again that same shape we're going to the 3rd fret of the G so the 3rd one of the fifths, so you got a and, and that's played through twice. So our introduction all together. So that's our intro and that figure two will keep coming back to that as well and uh, we'll take a look at the structure of the song so that we can play it all the way through now verse wise we're going from the fifth fret like that which is now a C chord to the tenth fret for an F so we're doing that same thing there but on the 10th fret back to the 5th to the 3rd for a B flat back to the 5th for a C I've seen people write it do that um, on the 3rd fret there you could either or kind of fits so all together that uh, verse is come to the chorus so really it's just G 
all open. Go up the fourth of A. Open D, open G, open G to the fifth of D. So then this little, which is just the fifth of D. Um, I'm getting mixed up with what it comes because uh, with, uh, <laughs> with tuning up differently. Uh, so you've got the D string, fifth, third of G, back of the fifth of D, fifth of G, then the, G, the third of which you can see on the guitar tab. And then really C for the, the end of the uh, the chorus. Another point of note is on that intro riff on the there's a little fill on the second guitar going um, which I should have mentioned before which you can see in the guitar dab fifth and then open third fifth on the, the D string so structurally the song it starts off with the intro the first chorus then the figure two which is goes to that then a verse and the chorus again the saxophone solo again is figure two but that's played through all together like four times so that's played through four times then we have the chorus again the verse again and then the chorus at the end and it kind of repeats and fades so if you can keep that structure in mind you shouldn't have too many problems being able to play this one all the way through and uh, it's a great it's a great track to be able to play Thank you for watching and I hope that helps you be able to play the Rolling Stones' Brown Sugar.